Hello, good morning. Hope everyone is good. In this topic, we can discuss how conversation AI works. We heard from several places and also we are using in several applications the conversation AI. Let's have a short look on how it works. So before going to conversational AI, how it works, first we have a look on what is conversational AI. So it uses a large volume of data, a large volume of machine learning, a lot of natural language processing or NLP aims to imitate human interactions. In addition, conversation AI can recognize speech and text inputs and translate these to various languages. So basically it uses four things for the perform of conversational AI. First one is the, as we saw in this uh, slide, first one is the input generation, then comes the input analysis, then comes the dialogue management, then comes the reinforce learning. So just go one by one. Input generation. Input provided in terms of voice or text through a website or through an application. This comes under the input generation. Then the input analysis. To understand the meaning and apt situation of input through natural language understanding. This comes under the input analysis. Comes to the dialogue management. This comes the output. Is used to create a response that will suit accurate situation to the query made earlier in the input generation with the help of natural language generation. This, this comes the dialogue management and it is used to filter the response based on the analysis how conversational AI did. This, in, this comes the reinforced learning. These four parts together works together for the conversation AI generation. So this is the base for using everywhere for conversation AI. So few examples we can see where this conversation AI uses in our daily life. Suppose for a faculty question or a general repetitive questions in insurance field, in HR also they are using for the employees onboarding, etc. For the autocomplete fields in the website search fields and the IoT devices. Here also it is an AI used here. While I used for the autocomplete it is in this PPT. It used the picture of a automobile. A automobile. It is entirely different. A small fault of the AI. So these are the few places where we are generally using or we saw conversational AI. This autocomplete fields uh, mainly we may or already everyone is familiar about these autocomplete fields. If we search some in Google map or Bing etc. whatever the search tool available in the browser there we see the autocomplete fields. In the insurance for the general queries like inquiry about the new insurance or premium whatever it is uh, there there also we have see the conversational AI and it next pro next level it provide to the human assistance in HR as well for the general queries of the onboarding and employee employee training updating info of employee inf informations uh, for the new employees not familiar about all those things there, there also the we can use as the we, we are familiar with the conversation AI so basically what's the advantage of the conversational AI this conversational AI can reduce time that is on main advantage and improve cost efficiency this is the second important advantage comes into the corporate world and also on the for the repetitive task or queries from the employee or from the customer support of course free up more human resources to focus on more customer employee interactions it is not replacing humans it is also assisting by the humans. So thank you for watching.
This is a short video about the conversational AI. Have a nice day. Thank you.